Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today topic is Important questions on mass transfer operations. In this video, we will see questions asked on mass transfer operations like gas absorption and stripping. So, let's see the questions. Define gas absorption. So, gas absorption is an operation in which a gas mixture of solute gas and inert or carrier gas is contacted with a liquid which is also called a solvent to preferentially dissolve one or more soluble component of the gas mixture in the liquid. Hence, in this operation, a solute gas from a gas mixture is removed from the mixture by contacting it with a suitable solvent. Hence gas absorption is also called scrubbing. This operation is mostly used for recovery or removal of the solute gas. Gas absorption operation is considered as a second most important operation in the mass transfer operation. Now, state any example of gas absorption. So, as we know, Mostly gas absorption is used for recovery or removal of solute gas. Hence, examples of gas absorption are Removal of ammonia from ammonia air mixture using water as solvent. In this example, ammonia is a solute gas. Another example is Removal of sulfur dioxide from flue gases by alkaline solutions. In this example, sulfur dioxide is a solute gas. Now, what is the difference between absorption and adsorption? So, the difference between absorption and adsorption is Assimilation of molecular species throughout the bulk of the solid or liquid is termed absorption and accumulation of the molecular species at the surface rather than in the bulk of the solid or liquid is termed adsorption then absorption is a bulk phenomenon and adsorption is a surface phenomenon now what is the driving force in gas absorption? So, for effective separation, the difference in solubility of gases in a given solvent is the driving force in gas absorption operation. Now, what is the effect of pressure and temperature on absorption? With increasing the temperature of the system, the amount of gas that can be absorbed by liquid decreases. Because in majority cases, the gas absorption results with the evolution of heat. Hence solubility of gases will fall off. Hence, adequate cooling arrangements should be provided to keep the temperature sufficiently low. While with increasing the pressure generally absorption increases. Now, define stripping. Stripping is the reverse process of gas absorption. An operation in which a dissolved gas from a liquid solution is contacted with a gas to preferentially dissolve one or more soluble component of the liquid solution. In the gas is called stripping. Hence in this operation, a dissolved gas from a solution is removed from the liquid by contacting it with an inert gas. 
An example of stripping is removal of the volatile component of oil using steam. Now, what are the selection criteria for solvent in gas absorption? So, selection criteria for solvent in gas absorption are Solubility of solute gas in a solvent should be high because if the solubility of solvent is high then less amount of solvent will be required for a given absorption process solvent should be less volatile as in this operation the gas leaving an absorption unit is generally saturated with the solvent so there will be a loss of the solvent with the gas leaving the absorption unit hence to minimize the solvent loss the solvent should be less volatile the solvent should not be corrosive towards common materials of construction so that the construction material for absorption equipment will not be too expensive the solvent should have low viscosity because if the solvent has low viscosity absorption rates will be high and due to this pumping cost will be low and heat transfer also good then solvent should be cheap and readily available then solvent should be non toxic non flammable non foaming chemically stable now when equilibrium condition arises in the absorption column when the partial pressure of solute gas in the gas phase is equal to its partial pressure from the liquid phase then the equilibrium condition is achieved now what is an operating line so operating line is a straight line which indicates the relationship between gas and liquid concentration at any level in the tower in the absorber the operating line always lies above the equilibrium solubility curve and in the stripper the operating line lies below the equilibrium solubility curve now draw an operating line for the counterflow absorber in counterflow absorber gas mixture and liquid solvent flows counter currently then assume V is the molar flow rate of the gas stream at any point in the tower small y as mole fraction and capital y as mole ratio of solute to inert gas then v dash is the molar flow rate of non diffusing gas that is an inert gas similarly L is molar flow rate of the liquid stream at any point in the tower. Small x is mole fraction of solute in liquid stream and capital X is mole ratio solute to fresh solvent. Then L dash is the molar flow rate of non-volatile solvent. So after taking material balance on this absorption unit we get equation of operating line for absorption unit v dash into y1 minus y is equal to l dash into x1 minus x now we will plot y that is the mole ratio of solute to non diffusing gas on y axis and x that is the mole ratio of solute to non volatile solvent 
on the x axis then we will draw an equilibrium curve using solubility data for a given system now we will draw the operating line for absorption operation which is a straight line with a slope equal to l dash divided by v dash and which passes through the point x1 y1 and point x2 y2 now draw an operating line for the cocurrent flow absorber in cocurrent flow absorber gas mixture and liquid solvent flows cocurrently then assume v is the molar flow rate of the gas stream at any point in the tower small y as mole fraction and capital y as mole ratio of solute to inert gas then v dash is the molar flow rate of non diffusing gas that is an inert gas similarly L is molar flow rate of the liquid stream at any point in the tower. Small x is mole fraction of solute in liquid stream, and capital X is mole ratio solute to fresh solvent. Then, L dash is the molar flow rate of non-volatile solvent. So, after taking material balance on this absorption unit. we get the equation of an operating line is v dash into y minus y1 is equal to l dash into x1 minus x now we will plot y that is the mole ratio of solute to non diffusing gas on y axis and x that is the mole ratio of solute to non volatile solvent on the x axis then we will draw an equilibrium curve using solubility data for a given system now we will draw the operating line for absorption operation which is a straight line with a slope equal to minus l dash divided by v dash and which passes through the point x1 y1 and point x2 y2 now what is the minimum liquid gas ratio from graph we can see line ab represents the operating line for absorption operation of slope l dash divided by v dash and passes through the point x2 and y2 as the liquid flow rate decreases the slope of the operating line decreases and hence operating line shift towards the equilibrium curve this is shown by line ac and due to this exit liquid composition increases so due to reduction in liquid flow rate the driving force for mass transfer decreases and hence absorption becomes more difficult if we further decrease the liquid flow rate the operating line touches the equilibrium curve at point p at point p the driving force becomes zero and hence the required time of contact for desired concentration change becomes infinite and the infinitely tall tower is required the corresponding situation represents limiting liquid gas ratio this value of l dash divided by v dash represents a minimum liquid gas ratio for a better operation of the absorption unit the liquid flow rate should be greater than that corresponding to the minimum liquid gas ratio 
Now, why we write the equation of the operating line in mole ratio instead of mole fraction? So, if we write the equation of an operating line in terms of mole fraction, we get operating line as curve line. Because during operation, all component diffuse from gas to liquid phase. Hence the total quantity of each phase do not remain constant. Hence due to this operating line becomes curved. And if we write the equation of an operating line in terms of mole ratio, we get the operating line as a straight line because of the mole ratio as the concentration x and y are based on the quantities l dash and v dash which are constant as l dash is the molar flow rate of non-volatile solvent and v dash is the molar flow rate of non-diffusing gas now when will be the operating line and equilibrium curve will be straight for an absorber? In an absorber, both equilibrium curve and the operating line will be straight for dilute solution and non-acidimal operation. Now, define absorption factor. So, the absorption factor is the ratio of the slope of the operating line to that of the equilibrium curve. It is denoted by A. Hence, A is equal to L divided by M into G. Now, what is the significance of the absorption factor? So, for values of absorption factor that is 8 less than unity. Fractional absorption of solute is limited. Even infinite theoretical plates are used. And for values of 8 greater than unity, if sufficient trays are provided, any degree of absorption is possible. The value of 8 lies between 1.5 to 2. Now, what is the stripping factor? So, stripping factor defined as the ratio of the slope of the equilibrium curve to the slope of the operating line. It is a reciprocal of absorption factor. It is denoted by S. Hence, S is equal to 1 divided A. So, that's all about important questions asked on gas absorption and stripping. In the next video we will see another set of questions. If you like my video, please like my video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel.